with my best bud, Chip. Hello. You all are here just in time. Tomorrow is the second annual Birds of Flight Paper Airplane Derby at school, and Chip and I are a team. Yep, a great team. The best team. Well, actually, last year, we finished second to Lee and Channing. Oh, yeah, Lee and Channing. They make paper airplanes that are so fast. They're like, Remember how they celebrated so much right in front of us? That wasn't nice. Yeah, I, I saw them pointing and laughing at our plane before we raced. We have to win this year. Yeah, let's do this. I want to win really bad. This is how you make a paper airplane. Step one, get a piece of paper like this. Step two, fold it or um... Have your mom or dad or someone else fold it. Help! Step three, decorate it with markers. Make sure to add the words win. I don't feel good about this. Even though they weren't that nice to us, it doesn't feel right to focus so much on winning. Yeah, I think you're right. Friends, let's check out our Bible story while Chip and I try to figure out what we should do. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 5. Before they learned from Jesus, people were used to doing what they thought made sense. They were kind to those who were kind to them, and unkind to those who were unkind to them. After all, those people were being mean to them, so shouldn't they act the same? But Jesus taught them something different in Matthew 5, 44. Jesus says, love your enemies. Do you know what an enemy is? An enemy can be someone who you don't really get along with. Someone who you might not want to spend time with because they're unkind. Jesus taught everyone that they should love both their friends and their enemies. Why? Well, if you love your friends and hate your enemies, people will look at you and they say, oh, they're just like everyone else. But if you show love and kindness to someone who treats you unkind, then people will look and say, whoa, that person loves people who doesn't like them back. They're kind to everyone and hate no one. They will want to know where in the world does that kind of love comes from. And you'll be able to tell them, Jesus taught us how to love our enemies. Whoa! So Jesus wants us to love people that we might see as our enemies? Chip! I think I know how we should decorate our plane for the derby. Me too. Step four, draw as many hearts on your airplane as you can fit. Step five, you're done. Chip, I think we're ready for the race. I know we are. Lee and Channing might laugh at our plane, but we will just wish them luck. They might win again, but instead of being sad or mad, we will tell them good job. Yep, it's all good. We're just going to smile and have a good time because Jesus taught us how to love our enemies. Let's go fly our, what should we call our plane? How about the love jet? I like it. The love jet is ready for takeoff. Thanks for landing and growing with us. Bye, friends. <laughs>